<clears throat> Hello, Virgo. I am G1 Rider with G1 Insights. This is your life and love energy for the month of December and January. And I am going to do Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or, v- or Venus and Virgo overall energy. Okay, um, guys, I have done several different decks, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. So let's just dive into this, okay? The month of December is very strong for connection, reevaluation, forgiveness, moving forward. But most importantly, the sun is going to move into your sister sign, Capricorn. And of course, for you, that is enlightenment. That is helping you to get more serious about your spirituality, getting more serious about your love affairs, getting more serious about, you know, the connection that you even have with yourself, right? Like you're really taking things up just a whole notch. Like you're becoming a whole different person, spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Um, It's interesting though, as the month of December go on, you know, we do have Mercury retrograde in, in your sister sign as well. And then we also going to have Venus in your sister's sign, Capricorn, as well. So there's going to be the reason why this is so important is because this is the start of a new journey for you. Some of you can find out or discover things um, that you didn't, maybe you were not really aware of, you know, when it comes to your family, um, close partnerships, things with your children. Um, and it's going to get even more strange when especially when january hits us so it's so important that whatever you want to take care of you do it you know because this is why i was even trying to push all of us to do these things in november because i knew the month of december was going to be so powerful right but it's okay fret not even here in the month of december you are still strong you are still goal oriented you are still focused however your mind is definitely on money and your mind a lot of you your mind is definitely on building you know um building some type of platform for again i just feel family and definitely finances okay you're building or trying to take a much more serious approach about it okay now there's so many things that's going to be trans um that's going to be more like a transformation here for you as well um we did i did like i said i did pull out some cards and the beautiful thing here is though virgo you got the nine of fire you also got the ten of cups which is well in this deck is the ten of water right so the nine of fire reminds us to not give up okay it says do not give up protect that which you have created so going towards the end of december early january you will find yourself being a lot more creative a lot more in tune with your creativity um really again just that whole serious approach about just life and we're just wanting to be more in tune with your spirituality is going to really take a toll on you but not in a negative sense okay this is a positive energy that i'm sensing here Because it also says to have courage and to believe in yourself. And then, of course, here with the 10 of water, it says a contented and rewarding family life. So it's like whatever you was working towards, spirit is letting you know whatever you were working towards, especially in November, October, November, and December, right? Going towards January, you get to reap the rewards for all of your hard work. Whatever news that you will find out in January will motivate you to really get serious about life. So as if, you know, whatever you were going through financially in October, November, and December, things are going to take a whole different shift in the month of January because you're going into this mindset of, I don't want to struggle the way I did before. You know, I don't want to go through the things that I was dealing with before. You may inherit something or you may be given some type of promotion or maybe you were given some type of promotion and maybe now you're regretting it. Maybe you don't want it, want the position, or maybe you just don't feel like it was worth it. Okay. Um, So it's so important that we take our time with huge decisions this season okay between december and january there's definitely going to be some things that come up to the surface that pique your interest 
um, that make you doubt or even possibly make you question um, your decisions, okay? Now, also, you guys also got clear your space. And this is from Archangel Raphael. It says, get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you. Use feng shui, okay? Um, you also got Archangel Michael energy that says, you are safe. You are guided and protected. It says, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones in your home. So again, there's that energy about family, your home life, you know, your finances, your creativity, things that are really, really personal for you. You are taking it a lot more serious this time around. So definitely by the end of December, like I said, Mercury is going to go retrograde up until about January 20th, give or take a day. Um, and then, of course, once Mercury goes direct, we're still going to be dealing with some of his bull crap, right? And Mercury is your ruling planet. And so we know that Mercury is all about um, usually like technology, communication, it can even rule some parts of our finances, of course, traveling, those type of things, right? So uh, some things may have to take a back seat, okay? Some things that maybe you have purchased in December and the month of January, you will decide, hey, I don't really like this. I'm not into this. Um, any type of contracts, you may want to back out of it. I would strongly recommend, though, between December and January, try your best not to rush into any major decisions. Try your best not to sign any major contracts. Um, don't get married. I wouldn't get divorced. I wouldn't move right away if I didn't have to. Um, I would not renovate right now if I didn't have to. Like, to me, Mercury retrograde is a time to just simply reflect, bond, um, you know, forgiveness to recuperate is a time for me. I think of, um, not really for me. I mean, it, what it means to me is that, uh, maybe even just taking time, like for instance, you can say, Hey, I would like to travel to this place. Right. But I would not necessarily rush to buy the tickets to travel to that place until Mercury has gone direct. Okay. So, Yes, you can make plans for the future, but again, I would not totally commit to anything as of yet, okay? Now, again, you also have the angel therapy energy, which is Archangel Raphael. We know Archangel Raphael is the healer. He only comes to heal us, to help us work through personal issues, um, anything that has been hidden, um, bounded, anything that was restricted, anything that has hurt us. Spirit wants you to move past the victim mode process. Spirit wants you to look for it with positivity, to know that everything is going to be better, that things are going to work out in your favor, but you have to have faith, okay? It says, give your cares and worry to us angels and allow us to take your burden. So again, you have more energy telling you everything will be fine just in divine timing. You do not have to worry. Pay attention to advice that people give you in the month of December or January, okay? Especially going towards the end of December, going into the month of January. There's going to be some very important resources or information or even some type of advice or guidance that will come to you. And you could take it or leave it, but if I was you, I would probably take heed to it. Just because, especially with the situation, knowing that, you know, and every one of you is dealing with things differently, of course. Um, some of you could be dealing with the same things, but you all going to approach things differently, obviously, because everybody moon and rising sign is different. So you're definitely probably going to approach a situation differently. But when it's all said and done, you still need guidance. Don't be afraid to utilize your resources, okay? The resources, especially when it comes to your income, especially when it comes to um, your home environment, your children, your family life. Pay attention to your resources. Some of you will be reconnecting with your children. Some of you will be having long, hard thoughts about providing for your children. If you do not have any children, you might be considering to have a child. Again, this is, you know, do your research, plan, process, strategize, but do not make a strong commitment at the moment, okay? 
Now, again, we already know with the Ten of Water, we know that your needs are being met. It says your emotional and material needs are being met. You're, you're building trustworthy relationships here. So again, pay attention to those resources, those friendships, that advice, that guidance that come to you, people that speak things into your life in a positive way. Pay attention to those people. You know, pay attention to the things that surround you. Um, people that you may not even heard from in a while, they may have a good message for you. So pay attention to that as well, okay? Now, <clears throat> again, I do know... You know, moving along here in the month of January, though, you know, you want to give yourself permission to be a little more creative, especially with, you know, things that you enjoy. OK, focus on your New Year's resolution. If you have any, I wouldn't tell anybody my New Year's resolution, but I think that you should focus on it. What do you really what would you really like to achieve? What would you like to accomplish? OK, um, if you are typically one of more uh, like more reserve well hold on i mean because i'm not gonna say if you are i think you are so i'm just gonna say that you are because i was gonna say if you are more reserved but i think most virgos are anyway so i'm not gonna say if i would just say that you know i believe that you guys are really reserved you know usually you guys are some of the most reserved members of the zodiac uh thing you know and i feel like you want to get out a little bit, you know, have fun, enjoy life and enjoy with an open heart, you know, be open minded, be more charismatic. I feel like your social skills is paying off in a huge way. So, again, I think you're bonding a lot better. You know, someone who you may never really consider a friend, you would probably now start to consider them a friend or somebody that you can open up with or talk to. All right. Um, you will have this extroverted mentality all of a sudden, especially going towards um, around the 12th of January. OK, give or take a day, because I know um, we're going to have a full moon in cancer at the beginning of January. But again, we still have Mercury retrograde in. But Mars is going to go direct. Mercury is going to go direct. And then, like I said, Venus is doing this thing. I mean, it's just a wild season between December and January. So it's going to be kind of like in a roller coaster ride, really, if I'm being honest. It's going to be kind of like a roller coaster ride for a lot of you. But I feel like you need to allow these new relationships to to build i think you need to work on them and to to bond with new people um i think you need to get out more socialize more you should definitely be a lot more mindful though to even nurture your own existing friendships and relationships okay take time to cater to people that mean the world to you especially when it comes to your siblings some of you may reconnect with some of your siblings some of you may have long conversations or or have shared just a moment of laughter with your siblings is well deserved and is is about that time okay um you will also notice that you're now in a position of power um around the 18th okay which is a good time to throw your right around a little bit you know if you know that you're a lead or you know that you're in a position of power like a manager or just in a position of authority you know you don't want to hurt people's feelings but i think this is a good time to kind of stand your ground and let things be known now this can even be uh at your job you know maybe you feel like your job is taking advantage of you maybe you don't really feel appreciated by the company um and you may be deciding to put your foot down letting them know how you feel um it could be that type of energy you know i um, mean of course at the end of the january we're going to be moving into aquarian energy so we know that we're definitely going to be feeling a bit rebellious wanting to do things our own way all right and that's okay sometimes we kind of do need to put our foot down but there are good vibes that are with you good vibes continue to flow right especially as mercury becomes um direct right um that week alone is going to be um is going to be some type of increase in your focus okay use this energy to really work through any type of obstacles that may have held you back from your goals again you're putting your foot down and some people may like it some people may not who cares but allow this newfound sense of confidence to lead you towards a better tomorrow okay now, your aura may be a little intense for some people, but like I said, 
it is what it is. Some may like it, some may not. Okay, it's important though that you do be mindful of others. Though again, we want to be confident. We want to, you know, put our foot down, but we don't want to hurt other people's feelings. Okay, um, and like I said, with Aquarius energy happening, it's definitely gonna bring a lot of new structure to your life, um, making you feel a bit more confident. Especially if you've gotten into a bad habit of like tardiness or disorganization, or maybe you kind of fell off a little bit, right? It's okay. You can bounce back. It's not a problem. But now is definitely going to be a good time towards the end of January um, to, to work through any type of investments or to help you get your fitness goals back on track, um, to get your health back on track. This is going to be easier for you to reach your goals because, like I said, your increase of focus is going to be very strong towards the end of January. So just stay focused. You know, don't worry too much about your tomorrow. Don't focus too much on your finances. Everything will work out in due time and it's going to work out in divine timing. But you got to have faith, my love. As you see, Archangel Mike already said, I am protecting you against lower energies. I'm protecting you and your loved ones. You know, Archangel Jaffael said, get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you. Use feng shui. Clear your space. Like I said, you got the nine of fire. Don't give up. Believe in yourself. The ten of cups, the ten of water is letting you know things are working out in your favor. A rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are being met. Trust the process, Virgo. Do not give up. Trust the process, okay? Now, listen, I did do some love cards for you. I used two of my favorite love decks. Um, very beautiful energy. So let's just get into it, okay? Um, we have healing. We have surrender. And then we also have this other card that says, do not make decisions based on guilt and or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Again, we have that energy on not making huge decisions or not rushing into making huge decisions, okay? Um, we also have this energy that's telling you to focus on being you. Be you unapologetically, okay? Being true to yourself is definitely going to open up doors for other people to want to be true to you as well, okay? And it's also going to help you to be true to others, all right? Now, when it comes to love, you know, surrender again, do follow, open your heart this season. Okay. Appreciate. We have some, some twin flame energy here, or this could just be some soulmate energy for some of you, but it says your twin appreciates you, you know, see the blessings and practice appreciation, practice gratitude. You know, again, there's that focus about home and family and love and life and bringing uh, uh, energy of togetherness around, okay? Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new came into our lives. Let go, okay? Learn to forgive. The month of January is a perfect time to bond and to reconnect and to forgive. Again, forgive, um, you know, work through those issues that you've had with your spouse or some of you could be single. Maybe some of you could be um, planning on having a baby or whatever the case is. But it says that you need to work on forgiveness. You know, heal your past, heal yourself, forgive yourself for whatever you put yourself through, forgive others for what they may have put you through, okay? And trust me, great love will begin to develop in your life, okay? It says, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Out with the old and with the new. We are not going into... 2023 with this negative energy we're not going to be pessimistic we're not going to be mean we're not going to be negative we're not going to have an attitude over every little thing we're going to have a very positive outlook on life and we're going to love you know we're just going to have an open heart and that's what spirit wants for you okay healing came out it says to imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed at this very moment okay Forgiveness is huge for you here. Do not walk away so quickly. Make sure that this is what you really want to do. Do you really want that divorce? Do you really want to separate? Okay. Do you really want to have a baby right now? And if you are having a baby right now, do you want to build a strong foundation with the person that you're having a baby with, right? Do you want a better foundation? Do you want to work through whatever you guys been going through? Like you have to come to an understanding that 
you know, it's hard enough having a baby, you know, but then it's like, you don't want to have a child with a person um, that you're not totally happy with, right? Or perhaps um, maybe you guys just been fighting over senseless things, you know, things that just don't make sense or possibly just even taking frustrations out on each other. This is the perfect season for you guys to heal through that, right? Talk it out, work it out, go to marriage counseling, go to couples therapy, whatever you need to do, but work it out, okay? Now, I did, again, I plucked out my other deck, and it says no. The answer to your question is no. So for those of you who've been asking, hey, like, should we divorce? Maybe the answer is no, okay? Should we have a kid right now? The answer is no. Should we, should we move in together right now? The answer is no. Um, should we separate? The answer is no, okay? Um is this person cheating on me? The answer could be no. So whatever the question is, you know, the answer to your question is no, okay? Whatever you've been asking yourself is no. Just know that it is time for you to be grateful, okay? Today, I am grateful. I choose to love. I choose to forgive. I choose honesty. I choose integrity. I choose love. I choose light. I choose to be the light of my life. I choose to do things the right way. I choose to lead with my heart and not with my head, okay? See the blessings in your life. Sometimes, you know, things fall apart so greater things can come together, you know? So, again, go out with the old and with the new. No matter what you guys have been through, you guys can get through this, okay? Even if you're going through something right now, financially, maybe even emotionally, Try your best not to take your frustrations out on each other. Learn to appreciate one another. But do not make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do because you have to be true to yourself and you must be true to others, okay? Go out with the old and with the new. Surround yourself by light, okay? So, Virgo, I love you, but I really got to go and I really hope that this message gave you some sense of clarity. If not... All of you, at least some of you, and I pray that it was a blessing in your life. And I thank you for listening and watching. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel, and be good, and have a good season. And I will see you guys soon. Love you. Bye-bye.